Welcome to Getaway. Now this week, we are in the land of the long white cloud. Akaroa is a must-see destination on any trip to New Zealand. Taking picnicking to a whole new level on the New South Wales south coast. This is quite terrifying. Oh my gosh, it does move. Plus, Hawaii's famous Pink Palace. Holiday destinations don't get much more iconic than Waikiki, and hotels here don't get any more iconic than the Royal Hawaiian. Bonjour and welcome to a little slice of France here in the South Island of New Zealand. We are of course in Akaroa and while this little town still honours its early French heritage with its quaint streets and architecture, what blows me away is the stunning scenery. Akaroa is a must-see destination on any trip to New Zealand. This lovely little town is a very scenic 90 minute drive from the city of Christchurch. Akaroa means Long Harbour and getting out and exploring it is the number one must do for any visitor. Tell me what's so special about Akaroa to you. Yeah, this place is just like paradise when you drive over the, the hilltop there and you look down into the bay, the harbour, it's just beautiful and this is, yeah, what we call home. George and his family have been running Akaroa Dolphin Cruises for almost 20 years, and he's as local as they come. Tell me about Akaroa's French history. The British bet the French here by four days, and oh. when the French got here, um, they had a bit of a scuffle on the beach, and um, the British ended up giving uh, each family that was on board that first ship, the Compte de Paris, five acres of land. And um, I'm lucky enough to be um, one of the original French family, so I'm seventh generation French descent. We're out here looking for the local Hector dolphins, but the journey out to sea is full of surprises. This is called Scenery Nook. Now, there's only about three or four really good examples in the world. What we have here is this rock formation in front of us. Really? Uh, so this is called a thermal dike. And it's not long before the wildlife come to check us out. Oh, there it is! Right here. Oh, oh, he's so gorgeous! It's like he's coming up to say hello. They come so close to the boat. Oh, I think there's been lots of generations and they always come and visit us. Endemic to New Zealand, the Hector dolphin is one of the smallest and rarest species in the world. Oh, there's another one! They're everywhere! And quite possibly the oh. friendliest. Wow. It's like they want to see us as much as we want to see them. It's incredible. One of the beautiful things about Akaroa, and there are many, is that it's so compact. Everything you'll need can be found along the harbour or just a short stroll away. In keeping with the heritage of the town, I've booked in at French Bay House, a boutique-style bed and breakfast with a colourful history. There's been everything from coffee shop, bed and breakfast. It was built originally for the doctor, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah and then through the years it's developed into so many different things. Born and bred local Tim and his wife Jackie met travelling the world and were lured back by this historic home. The opportunity presented itself and somehow we managed to get this beautiful house that just lent itself to being a bed and breakfast. With four king ensuite rooms, each with their own individual style, as well as plenty of lovely shared space, a stay at French Bay House is guaranteed to be memorable. Just streets away is one of the town's newest and tastiest venues. I guess the idea of what we've tried to create is a place that people can come to uh, and enjoy a relaxed environment to try our gins. Um, I guess gins that are a better place. Opened in 2021, Akaroa Craft Distillery aims to tell the tales of the harbour through gin. Well, Aaron, I'd like to try one. So what's this one here? So the first gin you'll be trying is our launch gin. It's uh, Hector's Long Harbour Ocean Wash. Uh, it's a big London dry style gin, so you'll get lots of juniper, uh, lots of lemon myrtle early. Oh, wow, that's so fresh. I can almost, is it lavender? Is there a yeah, hint there of is lavender, lavender in, there? in there, yeah. Oh, that is lovely. Thank you. That is springtime all over. I must admit, I'd never seen a red gin before. Tell me about this. Uh, we've taken the same base gin as the first gin, and then we've popped in there some French peak Pinot Noir. Still a hint of uh, Syrah in behind it, which um, jumps around a wee bit more. 
Mm. That's alive in my mouth. <laughs> wow, that one's amazing. As well as tastings, there's a full cocktail menu and plenty of room to settle in and enjoy. What a great little spot. Not just the distillery, but the whole town itself. Mm. Akaroa, I'm a big fan.